I hope you've recharged the batteries over the international break because it's non-stop. The long ball forward, Cole's in here. Is that handball from Patrice yeah, Evra? Yeah. Penalty, and he could be in big trouble here as well. It's Mark Noble. It's a terrific penalty. Sent Kusak the wrong way. Worst possible start for United. West Ham one, United nil. Oh, goes down. Another penalty. It's no ball. Smashes it home. No goalkeeper keeps those out. And United are in big trouble here. West Ham 2, United 0. United need a goal desperately. In the 20th minute already. United fans, it's actually Rooney who takes it. Great strike. Now they're back in it, all right. Is this the prelude for another great Manchester United comeback? West Ham 2, United 1. Rooney, still Rooney, great chance. United just would not take no for an answer. Wayne Rooney's 100th Premier League goal for Manchester United, and what a big one it could be. 2 2. Byline. Oh, is that oh, that's big a appeal for handball. Right. He's going for penalty. Right. He's given it. He took a long time to give. It's Rooney. Wayne Rooney with a hat trick. Manchester United showing the character that only champions possess. They've come back from the dead again. <laughs> Dimitar Berbatov. Now Giggs drills it dangerously. Oh! It's in! Chicharito scores! This is the comeback that surely ends all comebacks. United 2 0 down at half time. Now lead 4 2. I can scarcely believe this, even by United standards. This is special. Wayne Rooney with a match winning hat trick. Manchester United 2 0 down with 25 minutes to go. But they came back in dramatic fashion. West Ham United 2, Manchester United 4. And Wiley is today's referee. The United know. It's a foul by Everett. Yeah, no need for the challenge there at all. Arteta was going nowhere. Winds up, drills it, and in. Alan Stubbs with his second goal of the season. It took a deflection, I think, off Michael Carrick. Fernandez from the ball from Arteta. Still Fernandez! He scores his second Everton goal. And that could be a big goal as far as United's championship aspirations are concerned. Had to concede the corner. We need a goal. We need a goal. Giggs with the corner. Straight into the arms of Turner, but it wasn't. He lost it. And that might just be the break that United needed. Ian Turner didn't hold it. And United are back in this game with John O'Shea. Carrick to take this corner. Ronaldo, goalkeeper saved it, off the line and in. Phil Neville couldn't keep it out. United have come from two down to be 2-2 with 23 minutes to go. Nervous pass, O'Shea. That came off Carsley. It's come to Rooney, it's brilliant from Rooney, it's fantastic from Wayne Rooney! The former Everton player scores at Goodison for the second season running and that could be a goal of huge proportions in terms of the Premiership title race. They've come from two down to lead 3-2. Rooney. Eagles has made a run here, he's had a look for Ronaldo. It's Chris Eagles. Oh, Chris Eagles has sealed the three points with his first ever Premiership goal. And that seals a truly remarkable day at Goodison Park. And it might well be the day that takes United to the Championship. It's a remarkable day. And it could be the day where United have clinched the Championship. They've come from two down to win 4-2 at Goodison Park. What a day of drama at Goodison Park. Everton 2, United 4. Away games in all competitions. They have lost 3-1 here in three of the last four visits. And it's going to be Ziga to deliver it. And the touch 
and United have conceded again and Dean Richards has a dream start to his Tottenham Hotspur career just 15 minutes in it's his header that gives Glenn Hoddle side the lead a bit of space and Ferdinand is onside it's Les Ferdinand for Tottenham and it is 2-0 and disaster for United ball is still in play it's still Gustavo Poyet and it is 3-0 Christian Ziga for Spurs, unmarked at the back post, and that could just be the killer blow that might just kill off United as far as this afternoon is concerned. Gary Neville, good ball in, and United immediately reply through Andy Cole. His third goal in four games, he scored here five years ago. And Neil Sullivan is beaten, he scored at White Hart Lane again, and the perfect start to the second half. Back to the liver. Blanc with the header, and Laurent Blanc scores for the first time for Manchester United, and what's more, gets them right back in this game at White Hart Lane, 12 minutes into the second half, the French World Cup winner scored plenty for his country, he's now got one for Alec Ferguson, 3-2. It's a lovely play from Cole. Scholes is bursting into the area. It's Van Nistelrooy and Manchester United have come from three down and made it 3-3. It's Ruud Van Nistelrooy's fourth goal in the Premiership. What a comeback and what a second half. This is Varane. Oh, would you believe it? Sabre Varane with Manchester United's fourth. Four inside 30 minutes. Now there's a smile from the manager because they've come from three down to lead 4-3. Nice to Roy, Solskjaer, Owen still, two waiting for the cross. Beckham is there as well. It's David Beckham, and that is good night, Tottenham Hotspur. The captain, for the first time, has sealed it with his fifth of the season. And that caps one of the truly memorable Premiership matches of recent years and a truly memorable Manchester United victory. And one of the truly magnificent games of recent times. Brings a smile to Alec Ferguson in the end, but at half-time it certainly wasn't there at three down. Teddy Sheringham against his former club is a losing captain. Pin your ears back for this full-time scoreline at White Hart Lane. Tottenham Hotspur three, Manchester United... Five. Zidane. Ronaldo on the move. It's Ronaldo. Oh, it's a stunner. From one end of the pitch to the other. And Manchester United's job has just got a whole lot tougher. Giggs, Solskjaer, and Van Nistelrooy pounces. A lifeline for Manchester United just before half-time. Grell have had to apply a bit of pressure at the start of the second half. Roberto Carlos, Ronaldo, and that surely now is game over. It's a second for Ronaldo. <laughs> Solskjaer, Veron, it's gone in, it's an own goal. Helgera pulling that beyond the reach of Casillas. Ronaldo, oh, that's sensational. What a goal by Ronaldo, and what a goal to complete the hat-trick. So fancy his luck. It's Beckham, and that is magnificent. No time for celebration. His three assists in the Champions League this season is Van Nistelrooy, and still he goes on. And Beckham has tucked the ball in for Manchester United. But defensively, 
Real Madrid creating their own problems this evening. Elgara putting through his own goal to make it Manchester United 4, Real Madrid 3, but it's Real who progress. 6-5 on aggregate. I think the toss-up might be interesting. Well, if Graham Paul didn't think he was going into a hotbed to... ...of late. Skulls. Rooney trying to pull away into space. He's done that too. Lovely. Back to Giggs. Deflected and in. United a level. Ryan Giggs with the goal for Manchester United. Flomini getting forward. Henri. Bergkamp. Chance for Arsenal. Two. Rooney looks to pick up Giggs. Beautiful ball to Ronaldo. Chance Manchester United. Goal Manchester United. Cristiano Ronaldo squares it up again. Well, top, top class football. At breathtaking pace. Unbelievable. They just watch this. Keane. United looking a little bit rampant at the moment. And Giggs. It's Ronaldo. It must be. Argentine fullback. Skulls, look at this. He's got O'Shea in behind. And is this the clincher? Oh, you bet it is. 4 2. That's it. Manchester United game set a match. And it was so finished that from John O'Shea. Well, it was O'Shea's finish. It was quite exquisite. But what a bit gap. Now it feels from Arsenal. That was the last action. What a night for Sir Alex Ferguson. People thought this would be low scoring, tight and tense. Don't you believe it? Arsenal 2, Manchester United 4. Cheer in for much of the day. And Alex Ferguson is pleased with the effect that that has had on the pitch for tonight. And as if they make rash challenges. Zidane guides it in, Inzaghi was there! Less than six minutes played. Inzaghi there again, ahead of Stam, trying to turn the ball across the face of goal, deflected and in. Twice in the opening 11 minutes, Filippo Inzaghi had struck for Juventus. The first was a coach's goal. Beckham with a corner. It's towards Keane! Roy Keane with a captain's goal for Manchester United. Game on! United. Oh. It's towards York. It's 2 2. Dwight York has equalised for Manchester United. And they have seen the Juventus away goal and they have raised it. Last final. York. He skipped through. It's Dwight York. He's brought down by Peruzzi. Carl will finish it off. Full speed ahead. Barcelona. Manchester United are in sight of the European Cup final again. Andy Cole has surely made that a certainty now. Well, there's a little bit of juggling, he takes the keeper out. I understand. Amoruso, successive final. Call it destiny, call it fate, but Manchester United have reached the European Cup final again. The start, Nicky Butt with a tremendous challenge, and then back in, and back in the back of the net from Jermaine Jenis. You have to say, a super strike from the former Nottingham Forest player. Wants it back. He's now got it back. Solskjaer is onside. 
1 1. Ali Gunnar Solskjaer scores in successive Premiership matches, and United are back on terms, and you have to say, nothing more than they deserve. Scores to Solskjaer, and back to Scholes! 2-1! Two, two inside, two minutes, and United lead, and it's Paul Scholes to end 12 games without a goal with a strike at St James's Park. Brilliant from Giggs, can't touch him there, Brown to Scholes! Oh, this is dream stuff! Another wonder strike from Paul Scholes. United have scored three goals in five minutes to turn this game on its head. Now O'Shea. Taking on Solano. Oh, brilliant from O'Shea. Oh, and he's at the crossbar. And Giggs! I don't believe this. It is 4-1 United, and we're still in the first half. Ryan oh. Giggs caps a wonderful week for him. O'Shea made it. What about him? What about him down that left-hand side? How many times have I said it, Steve? You could play him down the, in the left wing. It'll touch to Solskjaer. Gary Neville's on the overlap here. Looks up. It'll come to Scholes. A hat-trick for Paul Scholes. And five for United. And this day just gets better and better. Yeah. Well, that's the football again. And... Definitely involved here for Forlan. Forlan, what a penalty. Yeah. The Hood scored now. Six of this campaign. There is never, ever any doubt. It is six for the day. 6 1. Martes, he's injured himself there as well. Sylvester getting back. And Newcastle have got a second goal. Fabian Bartes is down. It's gone to Shola Amiobi, and he's injured himself and missed kicking that ball. And it's now 6 2. Paul Scholes with a hat trick. Newcastle 2, United 6.